So, Philida, I wanted to begin um, really now, in the present. I mean, obviously you've had a very long career, but rather than having a retrospective look back, I think let's discuss the present show. And so I wanted to ask you, which I think is really extraordinary, but we'll get to that. I was very curious, um, I hope you've all seen the show, by the way, but there'll be images as well that you can refer to behind us. When I saw the show, I mean, it seemed very symbiotic. I was very curious how it came about. I mean, you were asked to do it how long ago, and then you gradually decided to make the works for the space, or...? Um, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good start. I, I think in, in March I was asked to do it. Um, so quite and recently. Yeah, yes, yeah. yes. And then we began work on it on May the 10th. Okay. Um, so it was absolutely a, a frenzy of making. That comes across in the work. There's an energy. There's a sort of, uh, yes, immediacy and urgency. Hysteria. <laughs> no, 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 it's measured, but you can yeah. feel that it's, it's vital. You know? Yes, I um, think it's my preferred way of working. I'm not... Uh, I think, and we talked about this before, um, the kinds of materials I use, I think, need very direct action. Mm -hmm. I'm not um, somebody who knows particularly well what I'm doing at the time, mm -hmm. but um, it takes often years for me to understand okay. the consequence of those actions. Mm -hmm. And I think there is something quite, it, it's probably driven by a kind of aggression that um, is slightly confessional, you know, there's a sort of brutality in how to make sense of these um, often inert materials, or on the other hand, incredibly alive, volatile materials mm -hmm. that only want to do what they want to do. Mm -hmm. So the idea of speed and very, very quick direct actions is, is incredibly important. Okay. And mm. doubly so here, because there was an imperative to produce and to make for you know, a fixed deadline. Absolutely, yeah. yes, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so, I mean, there's a lot of things I want to go back to in what you said about the idea about aggression and also about the materials, but just thinking about the space of, obviously a very particular space, the Edward yeah. Hutchins building that um, the gallery occupies. Did you, did you conceive of the whole exhibition as a whole and you, you thought about the kind of sequence or it's, it's, it's an exhibition of different parts? It's, um, I think the word that interests me about um, sculpture is syntax, mm -hmm. is the, the syntax of the space at the Piccadilly site is quite extraordinary. It goes from complete sort of pomposity <coughs> where it announces itself as something institutional, somewhere of authority and importance, mm -hmm. to a kind of abject warren <laughs> in, in the basement mm -hmm. and then up the flights of stairs to the balcony, which is again like a kind of like a slightly sort of sinister viewing space of what might be going on below. Surveillance. Surveillance, exactly. Yeah. And then into the sort of boardroom office spaces and then up into the attic. So the, the sort of grammar of the building is one of contrasts mm -hmm. and, and paradoxes. And I think that's what absolutely fascinating. I think it is a gift for anyone who makes sculpture because you're constantly turning around on yourself to come out of the spaces you've just been into or to go above or below and I think that's something that's um, been incredibly important to me is how we actually look at sculpture. You know? In a and given space. As in well. a given space, yes. I mean, how, how you know, Sculpture invites you to walk, crawl, <laughs> stalk, prowl, and all those kinds of ways of looking that are very, very different from a pictorial yeah. space. Um, but you don't see many people crawling on all fours at the table, for instance. <laughs> in fact, Behind the scenes. It, yeah, yeah, <laughs> so, right. <laughs> but I think it is, it, it's always a possibility. Yeah with sculpture, that it's not just your eye-level view. I mean, I think that's what's so impressive about the exhibition is not the, the scale or the, the all-enveloping nature of some of the installations or the fact that it's, you know, from the basement to the attic, but it's how incredibly thoughtful it is. And these works, they're not, um, they're not monumental, they're not monolithic, they're mm. responding to the space, but they're not in any way trying to 
compete with the space, or it, it just seems incredibly, I think, thoughtful is the Perhaps, word. Yeah. 